Thousands of runners are hitting the streets of downtown Austin on Sunday for the 25th annual Austin Marathon and Half Marathon. Alicia Enns has been talking to some of the marathoners this morning with um, kind of inspirational stories that we've been hearing from some of the people you've been talking to. Good morning. Good morning, Sally. Yeah, some amazing stories of the people that are going to be participating this weekend in this race. But you know, all the planning and prep work that goes on to making this go as smooth as it can really takes a lot of work, a lot of hands, a lot of moving parts. I want to introduce you to the man behind the Austin Marathon madness, John Conley. Good morning. Good morning. So, I, okay, here's the thing. This is your last marathon. I know it's got to be bittersweet for you. What has this been like, this, this marathon, for the past, what, 20 years you've been a part of this? Yeah, it's a 25-year-old spectacle, and I'm really proud to have been the race director for 20 years. You know, I think the most amazing thing about this event is, you know, we got 15 teams of people with under them 2,000 volunteers, and they all come together on one morning with no dress rehearsal, and they hit a home run. So when that air horn goes off and that race starts, like the genie out of the bottle, and it's just the most amazing feeling to see people in this city running down those streets on really what's a what's a journey for them. You know, it's taken them 12 months to get yeah. here, and it's taken us 12 months to prepare. So. Everything coming together on race day is just spectacular to me. I know that you have um, met a lot of people along your journey here. You, you become friends, I'm sure, with a lot of them. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, why are you leaving? You know, why, why is this the time? Well, you know, I've been the race director for 20 years. And uh, everybody has to make some sort of an exit. And while I'm still young enough and healthy enough, this seemed like a good time. But the particular opportunity to be able to hand off the torch mm -hmm. to a local company, High Five Events, Jack Murray, Stacy Keese, and Dan Carroll and those guys, was just a unique once in a lifetime opportunity. So we keep it local, it's gonna be fresh. Uh, these guys have a lot of energy and I'll, I'll really have fun watching them to see what they do. I was going to say, you're going to come back, you're going to be a spectator now on the sidelines cheering people on? Heck, I might even run this thing <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, run it, I ran it once, uh -huh. uh, 1994, and then I've never had the opportunity yeah. um, since then. So these guys might do some pretty cool things and uh, I'll, I'll be watching with interest and I may jump in. Yeah, John, we really appreciate you and I know a lot of people appreciate all the, the work you've put in over the years on this marathon. Good luck Thanks. this weekend. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna send it back to you guys. We're actually gonna head inside to the Palmer Event Center. They've got a lot of expo. This is, that's a part of this marathon as well. There's an expo going on vendors, 80 plus of them. We're gonna go inside and show you some of the neat stuff inside there. I'll send it back to you.